Friday. Um, I'm so happy to be back. I had the most wonderful time in San Diego, but it's always good to be home. Yeah, I got back a few days ago. I just kind of hit the ground running with work. So I've been go, go, go. And today, of course, is Aaron day. So I have a little bit of a reprieve to catch up on life matters. But um, of course, starting the day with my coffee, naturally. Otherwise, I wouldn't be talking to you. But I wanted to update you guys on some homeware type things. A um, viewer actually sent me this candle as a gift and it is amazing. It is from Pier 1 Imports, the Pumpkin Cider Apple. Oh yeah, it is good. Um, so yeah. Many of you though have commented that you've gotten the Fall Harvest candle from Tuscany Candle and you really like it, so that makes me happy. I just think those candles are so affordable and wonderful and yeah, I um, I love them. But speaking of adorable, did I say adorable? Probably not. Check out these. I showed you guys this kind of a clip this morning. I got these on YesStyle and I love them. They are so cute. Um, they're little hooks that have these little pop-up chipmunks that come out. Ugh, I just love them. Um, yeah, I got them to hang like my measuring spoons because I get tired of going back and forth to the drawer. So it's nice to just have the spoons here. And then my kitchen scissors is another thing that I get tired of going in and out of the drawer for. So really convenient. They're so cute. The only thing, um, if you own your home, you probably won't like this. They stick onto the wall with this really strong adhesive. And I honestly don't know how it will go taking them off. It's one of those things where once you put it, once, once they're stuck there, they're there permanently. So you, you kind of commit to it. I'm sure there is something that you can use to take off the adhesive, I'm hoping. Um, but yeah, be aware of that. If you get these, that they're they're not super forgiving as far as once you put them down, they're there. Um, and I, I don't know how to get them off, but they're really, they're really um, strong. They really have a good grip. Um, I don't know how many pounds this would, would reasonably hold. I mean, you wouldn't want to put, you wouldn't want to put like an anchor for, for a cruise liner on there or anything. But uh, yeah, kitchen scissors, it tolerates well. So yeah, I got those on yesterday and I think I'm gonna get some more because they're just so adorable. And I also got some little curtain toppers for in here. And I'm really happy that I did because I hated the way that the top of the door and window in here looked. It just had a very institutional vibe, like, I don't know, one of those little offices down a cramped hallway in a basement that you might go into for fingerprinting for a background check um, or a TB skin test placement. Like it, it kind of had that vibe to it. Like no fun is to be had in here. Um, so yeah, this kind of, I don't know, warms it up a little bit. I got these on Amazon, they were really inexpensive. And I also got the rod on Amazon. It was really easy to put up there. And I just got, I actually got two, but I figured out I only needed to use the one and then I could just split them up like that. Um, so yeah, it's one rod and then the two, two toppers stay in their designated spaces. Um, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, so yeah, these are kind of weird though. Like they just, you just kind of have to like fold them and sort of style them yourself. So I don't know. They do um, act as actual drapes too. Um, so they're not long enough for my window and door. They stop about here. But if you have a smaller window, like in your kitchen, they will, they will come all the way, you know, when you let them all the way down, they will cover the entire window. That's what I'm trying to say. And block out a lot of light. And I got my little mossy ball here. <laughs> he's doing well and then out here unfortunately my tomato plant is deceased as i think i updated you guys a while ago but my um shrimp plant is doing really well when i came back he had a new flower on him that he had grown but i noticed there were some of those little awful aphids on the flower petals so i pulled it off and then i took some dishwashing liquid and coated it, coated the leaves with it to keep them away. I've heard, you guys have told me to do that. So hopefully that keeps them away. I don't want them to ravish, ravish this. Yeah, that's what's going on out here, not much. All right, and then mascara update. I told you guys I was just uh, close to finishing my Glossier Lash Slick while I was away and I did in fact finish that. 
and I transitioned over to this Wet n Wild Mega Volume. I just used it for the first time yesterday and again today, and I don't care for it, you guys. It's really clumpy, and I first I thought it might just be the first the first go of it, you know, how you kind of have to give things time sometimes, but no, it's getting kind of worse, worse for wear. Um, it, it clumps onto the lashes, it doesn't like elongate them, and then it gets all over your eyelid. Here, I'll show you guys, like, yeah, I'll show you on here. I mean, it doesn't look horrible, it's just chunky and messy and goopy. And in terms of drugstore mascaras, far and away the best one I've ever used is the Maybelline Colossal. Um, and every time I try a different one, I'm, I'm just underwhelmed. So I didn't care for this. And um, there was another, was it CoverGirl? I tried a CoverGirl mascara a while ago and didn't care for that either. Uh, the Clump Crusher, did not like the Clump Crusher. It just didn't work for me. But yeah, this one I don't think works well for me either. I'm gonna go back to Colossal or I might order another Glossier Lash Look. I really like that one, it's nice and elongating but the colossal really amps up the volume of your eyelashes but it doesn't do this like caterpillar goopy thing anyways that's as much makeup verbiage as i can give you guys well hey guys what's up it is late afternoon i'm headed out to uh to costco and kroger my happy places i just finished up at the uh, bank i got this random check in the mail from um, at&t my uh, internet service provider uh a random check for eight dollars <laughs> apparently they had overcharged me at one point in my tenure with them and uh you know we're doing diligence <laughs> with the eight dollars um yeah i don't use my phone to to scan checks i know that's popular like the online mobile banking i have some bizarre paranoia about that which honestly it's not any safer to get down and go into the bank I don't know why I don't just do it online. I guess, I don't know, I feel like I can, be, I'm more aware of my surroundings when I go to the bank and if it's not safe, I don't do it. But when you're on your phone, like, I don't know, anybody could hack in at any moment and that's kind of my level of paranoia. But yeah, no joke. I mean, people get held up at the ATM and bank all the time. Uh, that bank in particular that I go to, it actually was robbed I think about a year ago, I remember there there was a robbery there. Um, and this is a very safe area, so yeah, it's, uh, it's scary. And you know, another wave of crimes that we have here in particular is uh, the credit card scamming, scanning things. They apparently install them into the pay at the pump at the gas station. And so when I first moved here, I actually got nailed by one of those and had my credit card information jacked, which is such a pain. I mean, you call the bank and they cancel all of the fraudulent charges and everything, but oh my gosh, it's like two weeks of annoying of annoyances because you've got to go in and change your credit card information for anything that you have automatic bill pay. I mean, it's just a pain. And it's, not to mention it feels, it feels like, you know, it's a violation. Um, so it, apparently it happens a lot through the, the credit card uh, pay at the pump things, the gas stations. So I've got this new, new thing that I'm thinking of doing uh, wherein I buy, instead of paying at the pump with my credit card, I'm going to start buying uh, myself credit, uh, gas station gift cards and using them at the pump. I think that would circumnavigate that. That, uh, that maleficence in the world. Ch, ch changes. Costco got in new grocery carts. They're snazzy. Kombu, ladies all weather short boots. $24.99. It's good if you have to um scrape your driveway of ice. On these running gloves. Ten bucks. These were an essential when I lived in New York. I used to run in Central Park. It's nice that you can, they're touch screen too. Ooh, Costco got in uh, eggnog. They got in eggnog and they didn't get in cranberry. I'm gonna be peeved. Does this already have alcohol in it? Sure does. You guys, 
these deer foam slipper socks. Oh, yes. What is this weird little loop? Oh, it's a scrunchie. I think I need this. <laughs> Costco also got in these 32 degrees plush zip up jackets. Oh, I kind of like this color. So soft, you guys. It feels like Thai B. <laughs> Those are cute. They have the little weave back. I like that. These are nice sweatshirts, except I don't like logo. Like I would, I would even tolerate the skyline because it's sort of tasteful, but I don't want DKNY plastered on there. It's just not my look. That's pretty too, but again. Oh, is this that cool? Three-way Velcro, or not Velcro, sequins. Have you guys seen that on kids' shirts? It's like, it'll ha have like a pattern like this of sequins, and then when the kids touch it, it moves a different direction and changes color. Update on the Whole Earth Liquid Sweetener monk fruit stevia mambo combo i got these was it two weeks ago they're okay they're not my favorite they i definitely prefer sweet leaf stevia drops to this it's really um thick it's not as it's very viscous and i don't know i just don't like the taste as much i'm i like monk fruit okay but i prefer stevia so i don't know this hasn't been this hasn't been a win, but it was only eight bucks for the four of them. So, you know, it's not horrible, but I would not repurchase. Guys, update. When I was, uh, the Airbnb that I stayed at provided the Kirkland uh, moisture shampoo in the bathroom. Not bad. I only used it a few nights, you know, the duration of time I was there, but it didn't weigh down my hair or and it wasn't overly drying. Oh, it's vegan. It's sulfate free and safe for color treated hair. $9.99 in Kroger and I just swung past the how, um, kitchen houseware section and this mug got randomly stuck here and it's brilliant pumpkin spice and everything nice but the lid is a coaster oh I love that I wonder if they have any others oh, they do Those are cool. Oh, cute little autumn treats pans. Burger also got in accessories for the Instant Pot. I wonder if I could use them in my Kosari. I'm sure I could. This looks particularly handy. Cause the little tray thing that came with the Kosari to put in, it works okay, but it's kind of awkward to get out. It's like a flat, elevated, round tray and it's got like a metal ring on the inside and it's kind of awkward. This seems like it would be easier. So I'm over here in the skincare section. Gold Bond has this multi-symptom psoriasis relief cream. It's a 3% salicylic acid fragrance free moisturizer that is obviously going to be helpful for the scaly plaques of psoriasis. Psoriasis is a hyperkeratotic inflammatory disease and salicylic acid can really help with that. Um, but this would also be useful for um, dry, scaly skin because uh, the salicylic acid can kind of help to exfoliate that. It's got ceramides in it and it also has uh, shea butter. Unfortunately, it has ginger root extract in it and that can sometimes be irritating. It says this can be useful for... It says this can help for seborrheic dermatitis. I'd be a little resistant to try this on the face though. It might be a little too irritating, but... Uh, if you have subderm on the body, which is not uncommon, you can have seborrheic dermatitis on the body, this would definitely be a good one to consider. Um, so, yeah, cool. I have a video on seborrheic dermatitis in which I recommend products, so check that out if you're curious. Their healing hand cream looks like a nice nighttime hand moisturizer. It has um, urea in it, which can help to soften dry skin, and it acts also acts as a humectant. Oh, darn, it has fragrance in it. Never mind. <laughs> this is a much better hand cream, the Eucerin one. It has um, no fragrance. It has ceramides in it, and it also has um, uh, 
shea butter. This is a nice one. I've actually used this and I also really love. Yeah, so this is a better alternative to the Gold Bond hand cream. It's got urea in it, but it's free of added fragrance. It also has sunflower seed oil in it, which studies have shown is a pretty good moisturizer for people with eczema and dry skin. I've used this myself and I really like it. Love this Hydro Boost Body Gel Cream. The fragrance free one. This is the fragrance. Here's the fragrance free one. Yeah, make sure you get the fragrance free one. See how they have two and they put them right next to each other? They didn't even, they should have not made this at all. They should have just made this and, and been done with it, but and, and I don't know. Yeah, this is really great. You can put it on your face. It works quite well, actually, on the face. All right, so I did in fact get these cute Deer Foams uh, cozy socks with the cute little scrunchie. Oh, it's so soft. I love these. And they've got the little grippy grippies on the bottom. So yeah, those will be perfect once the once the temperature drops. I also got my rice cauliflower from the freezer section and my stir fry vegetable blend. I am so hooked on these. Unfortunately, Costco let me down again and did not get in the cranberries. I saw Kroger had small bags of cranberries, but they're really expensive. So I guess I'm gonna have to wait a few more weeks to till those become available. Hopefully there's not a cranberry shortage that would be sad anyways i went ahead and got my organic celery sticks from costco ever since they replaced the celery with the organic celery i definitely do notice a difference in the taste and i feel as though these stay crisper longer love my celery i also got my big bag of spinach as per usual um, and then from Kroger, I got some grapefruit. Love grapefruit. So, so, so good. I also got some um, turnips. Loving those this time of year. They, they're really great. They're um, kind of like a potato, but not as starchy. Um, so they're, they're a nice alternative to potatoes. Parsnips have been so good from Kroger lately. Um, I just get three and I, cho I chop them up roughly into little cubies and keep them in a meal prep container and then I just dump into my crock pot as I go. Kind of how I showed my what I eat in a day video. I also got some passion fruit, love these to bits. Okay, I know this sounds odd, but I will heat up some of the rice cauliflower and I will put it in a little bit of non-dairy milk with a little bit of stevia and cinnamon and drizzle this on top. Sounds weird, but it is quite good. I also got another plantain. I don't know why I have not been buying these for for the past few years because I love them so much. And they're really easy to cook in the air fryer. Now that I have the air fryer, things that I used to shy away from, I think are a lot easier for me to prepare. Yeah, I just peel it and wrap it up in tin foil and pop it in the air fryer and it is donezo really fast. And um, so, so good, love these. I'm thinking of getting a tostone mold uh, so I can make the little tostones with it. I think that'd be fun. Anyways, I got some zucchini from Mazotes, um, garlic, and this massive, I think it's bigger than Tybee's head, this, this onion. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty big. Uh, numerous bags of radishes, radishy, radish eye. More of the star fruit. Somebody commented below how they used to eat star fruit growing up and they no longer have it available in their area. And seeing it in my videos made them remember that. I, I'm really loving it. It tastes like a grape, but it's not as sweet. Um, I also got two heads of Savoy and they were having deals galore on moon beans, both split and unsplit. So I got that because I wanna try making um, some more things with the split. I, I've never actually cooked the split version before, but I love to get the whole and sprout them. So I'm gonna try and do some more stuff with the split. Um, but these are these are a really good source of um, protein. I have 10 grams of protein. And when you sprout them, they're really easy to sprout. You don't even need a special sprouting jar. Um, they, and they, they sprout in a couple of days. Uh, and then they're really tasty. Um, oh, and these, th these, this, <laughs> blah. I've been wanting to try the bonza spaghetti. I love bonza. I eat it pretty regularly. I like the, um, the little shells and the, um, rigatone, but I've been wanting to try the spaghetti and they got it in at Kroger and it's currently, um, on Ibotta as well. Ibotta, if you're not familiar, is one of the many coupon rebate apps I get and I always save a ton of cash back on that thing. This was one item. 
and it was also on sale through Kroger. And then this also was another item. I love prunes. Um, and uh, so Sunsweet prunes were, were on I bought, I think, I don't know, maybe like 75 cents cash back or something. But yeah, I like to throw one of these into um, like my oatmeal or something. It sweetens it um, pretty easily. Um, and you know, prunes get a funny rap for you know their digestive <laughs> downstream effects. But I mean, uh, eating one or two doesn't really have that effect. I mean, you've got to eat like several servings at once, which is like 10 prunes. Yeah, don't do that. Um, but yeah, one or two sweetens things up and, you know, tastes good. Anyways, all that prune verbiage aside, that is everything that I got this week at Kroger and Costco. And I just got a delivery from Function of Beauty. I wanted to try their shampoo and conditioner because I've seen YouTube videos for this brand before, but I was elated to find out that you can get fragrance-free and dye-free shampoos and conditioners on their website. So I went ahead and ordered some to give it a try. Oh cool, so I just opened it up. Yeah, I was really excited because you can get um, fragrance-free shampoo and conditioner and it's also dye-free. But if you like fragrance in your shampoo, which I actually do, even though I got the fragrance-free, you can, um, they have some interesting looking scents on there, like they sounded like they smelled really good, but you can tell it how intense you want the fragrance. So that's kind of cool. If you don't like super strong fragrance, but you like a little bit of scent, that's wonderful. But I, even better is the fact that you can get free of fragrance and free of dyes, because those two things in shampoos and conditioners are things that definitely can cause problems for people. And you can get your name on it. So I went ahead and did Dr. Dre. <laughs> and it comes with these cute stickers. Oh, I love that. These are really cute for my planner. And you also get um, pumps. So that's cool. And my understanding from the website is that they ship to um, outside of the US. You know, I think those of you in Canada and I believe the UK can also get their shampoos. Welcome, welcome to the Function of Beauty fam, Function Fam. This looks like it's going to be a really good shampoo. I see it's got lactic acid that can help remove some buildup and also it functions as a humectant. And it also has marine extracts, algae extract. That's wonderful. And it, this looks, they, they both look really good in terms of the conditioner, coconut oil, avocado oil. Wonderful. All right, I'm looking forward to trying this. And what's in this box? Oh, how cute. Are these little samples? Oh, I'm loving this little zippy bag, you guys. How brilliant is this? Little to go refill things. You can fill up your shampoo into these and take it with you for travel. Oh, I love this. Wow. All right. So far, I'm impressed with the packaging at least. Um, I'm really excited to try the shampoo and conditioner. Stay tuned. It was a little on the pricey side, but not too bad, honestly, for the, you know, I mean, fragrance-free shampoo in and of itself can be very expensive. So yeah, I look forward to giving this a try. I'll let you guys know. Let you guys know how it is if it's uh, if it's good. It seems like it's gonna be good though, but uh, yeah, it's already getting. I feel like it's getting dark earlier already. So, anyways, guys, I'm gonna wrap up the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.